What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, like I promised before, we're gonna start working on the ram a little bit. We got um, a little surprise last week. Uh, the, today's Tuesday, so last Friday, uh, powder cutter called, had the grill done, so didn't know you even started on it. So this thing is awesome. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. If you follow me on Instagram and stuff, it's already been posted and give you a little look-see. I got it here in the house, laying on the couch. But man, this thing is, Turned out really awesome. It matches the wheels exactly. And we're gonna install this thing. Just wanna give you a little look-see. Got all the hardware here. Gotta do a little trimming, a little cutting. We're gonna have to cut the, um, the factory crossbar out of the grill that's plastic. So I'm just gonna use a jigsaw. Um, word of advice, if you're looking for power tools, it's a good time to buy. I got two batteries for a hundred bucks and you get a free tool free. So the tool I needed was actually the new Ryobi jigsaw and I've already got all their other Ryobi tools so two batteries it's pretty good for 100 bucks so we got the jigsaw and two batteries and a bag and a charger for 100 bucks can't beat that so we'll get started with this um just got to use a little uh tool here to pop the plastic tabs out there's one there two three four of these and then there's uh, I think four bolts for the grill I think it's either four or two, but they're 10 millimeter. So we'll pop this grill off real quick and get the grill out and then we'll mark it and we'll show how to cut this, take the inside out of it. And give it a whole new look. This is about the fourth or fifth time this grill's been out of here, so it's not been too bad. Having all these tools makes it a lot easier instead of using a pair of pliers and you're able to reuse the clips after you pull them out a couple times. Just need a little, be able to get the tool behind it to pry. Just like that. Just take this out and set it back here out of the way. Keep all the clips there. Yes, there's four screws for the grill one there two on the inside and one here on the side so and if you get confused on which of the bolts go where the more coarse threads go on the outside, the more fine threads are on the inside. So we'll take those out of the way. And the grill should stay, it's clipped in on the bottom. So we'll put those out of the way. And we'll pull this grill off. Just like so. So we're gonna use this carpet over here to lay the grill down. And we will take this factory. It's got all these tabs that hold this grill insert in. We'll just take a flat screwdriver and we'll pop that apart and pull the insert out before we start cutting. And it's really easier to sit on the floor, hold the grill. Let's start on one side and kind of pry and pull where these clips go in. It's just got a little bit to catch it. And it looks like this top part's holding it in. So there's a couple bolts. We'll pop those out real quick and we'll get to it.
come out one piece. And the trail should lift right out of there. The insert, just like so. So, something else to add to the stockpile of stock parts. Next thing I did was just get some painter's tape. I taped up around where I'm gonna cut. I just don't want the jigsaw to rub up against the paint and scratch what we have left. So yeah, it's green tape. So kind of almost the same color as the grill, but just to save us a little aggravation of that saw. So I went ahead and bought a kit and I'm going to use the, like the real fine metal blade. So it's brand new. We're going to try that and hopefully it'll cut. There's things are very adjustable with speed. So we'll use that. But you want to leave a little bit of gap. You don't want to cut right on the edge of the line. You want to leave like a quarter inch, half inch. It's better to leave too much than not enough. So we'll probably cut it out here a little further and get it all, all four cut, pull it out, and we will see how much more we need to trim after we do that. It's easier to go back and trim it again than it is to cut too much and it not fit right. So it's just going to insert in here and then we drill holes and bolt it in. So We'll get this cut out and wish us luck. It's not so bad first try is it right through it you could use a dremel but i've watched a couple videos on this and this seems to be the best way it's the least messiest and it gives it a better cut so we'll come out here where we can get a little room for it So that's what it looks like so far with it cut and we off all the shavings. So we will go grab the other grill. We will test fit it and lay it in here and see what we got to work with. It was laid on the ground and I just laid the insert in there and it's a pretty good match though. I've not really had it beside it, but that's powder coated and the grill is painted. So seems like it sets pretty good down in there, especially on the bottom and the sides, but it looks like the top here has a gap. So we're going to have to mark and trim and what it is is mostly this bolt is sticking through so we could basically just trim up around that and it should sit down in there but it looks like you're going to see a little bit of it so we will trim that a little bit where you won't see it so just take your time and do a little bit of time and until you get to fit right all right after trimming a little bit more at the top there we went ahead and marked our holes and drilled them just a little bit bigger than the size of bolts because you might want a little bit of room to maneuver it and get it tight so we'll lay the grill in there and we'll start putting this hardware on there looks like a 7 16th size and we'll start bolting this thing together right. so we finally got it all in and it fits pretty nice of course if you look down you'll see where the crossbar is still there but when it's looking straight ahead you won't see it and it fits nicely down in there so we'll go ahead and put the factory plastic retainer back in there. That way we can mount to the truck and we'll see how it looks. So we put those eight bolts back in, got the plastic. So then I tighten all the bolts down on the reel that mounts to the truck. This thing sit in here where it goes. Hold it. 
a little bit different, more pressure where it's metal. But we'll get you started in there. Things the world a difference. Of course, we'll put the splatter shield back on, but I don't know what, but totally changed the front end of this truck and it also matches the wheels. So, same colors, give you a little perspective. So, right here, the reason this is hitting is the bolt is hitting the grill behind there. So, I might have to pull that bolt out, trim a little bit off of it. It would cause it to go in just a little bit further. Other than that, it's the only ones that hits the bottom. So, turned out really nice. CTC Fabrication, Cole Carter is who I got this from. He's up in Canada. But we'll go ahead and put the shield on. We'll shut the hood and give you a little look see of difference. this truck a whole new look and i'm telling you powder coat where to go i won't get any bug chips on that it'll be good for probably as long as i ever own the truck and the color matches definitely on point I'm telling you black label coatings he's a magician when it comes to powder coat matching and of course we have our crossbar we cut out and a grill you might need a grill all around me we still got some headlights and we have some tail lights still, but just want to give you all a little installation video of that. Um, I'm probably going to pull these two outside bolts out, grind them down, shorten them, and that'll let that grill sink in just a little bit more. That way it matches all the way down. But he fits these grills on every truck that he does before, so I think it turned out pretty good. So if you guys have not been here before, don't forget to get down and leave me a comment below and uh, this probably took about an hour or so just like i said just take your time cut a little bit as you can see i left it a little bit tall in there but it doesn't really bother me i'd rather it show too a little bit than to cut too much and scratch the paint and everything and like you go in and you could paint these bolts these are stainless so they won't rust but that's the only hardware you see it's probably them two lower ones everything else is pretty hidden but don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have some more upcoming videos coming. I'm actually on vacation this week as we got the Jeep done and it's in the garage. We uh, got wet last week, so it's been drying out. As you can tell, it's June here, so we get weather like this where it just wants to rain every day. But it's nice about having a garage. You can pull it in and work on it. And here's a little glance of the wheels that Victor powder cutted for me, as well as the Icon suspension and dead on no no difference there so check us check out ctc fabrication check out black label coatings i think he's booked for the rest of the year but i'm sure he could get something worked out for you guys if you've not been here before leave a comment we'll see you guys next time appreciate you watching